A candlelight vigil for Mark Costello. It is part of a day of remembrance for the Oklahoma Labor Commissioner. Two Works for You reporter Will Dupree live in Oklahoma City where the events are just wrapping up. Will? Well, this morning, Karen, hundreds came to pay their respects as the body of Mark Costello lay in repose inside the state capitol. Tonight, dozens more attended a candlelight vigil here in his honor. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. A common purpose brought a crowd to the state capitol grounds. They gathered for a chance to grieve and hopefully heal together after the shocking death of State Labor Commissioner Mark Costello. I feel sorry for Oklahoma, everybody, because we lost a jewel. State Republican leaders organized the vigil to remember a man that they say never met a stranger and always had a smile. He's always had upbeat things to do and he was always working on something so he was a very admirable man. Organizers like Darren Ward gave out green ribbons for people to wear as well as green candles to hold. The color symbolizes mental health awareness, a cause that Costello's family is now asking others to support. My heart goes out to his family and Mark was a lovable guy, he was a Christian guy and it is a big loss to the state. For every time you think of me, I'm right here. The sadness and shock of Costello's death even cuts across party lines. Until we meet again, thank you. As state Democrats shared their memories of him too. And Mark was one of those people that even if you didn't agree on policy, you would walk away as friends because he understood what it was all about. Hours before the vigil, hundreds stopped by the Capitol for a public viewing of Costello's body. But as the sun sets in Oklahoma City, family members, friends, and colleagues of Costello's prepare to say their final goodbyes. A rosary service is scheduled tomorrow for Costello, then his funeral will be held on Saturday. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Will Dupree, Two Works For You.